Good morning, beautiful people. Happy, I was going to say happy Friday for a second, <laughs> uh, but obviously it ain't Friday. Yeah, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Um, good morning, Erica. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Mar Maricela. Mar 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 I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. Good morning, Melinda. Kimberly, Donna, Ashley, Misty. Good morning, good morning, Jenna, and good morning, Angie. Good morning, everyone else that is watching this on replay. Um, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Shalana. Uh, if you can't pronounce it, Shalana, do you wanna? Um, it's easier. Um, good morning, Anna. Now, huh, this is something that I actually shared not too long ago, and I just wanted to talk about this because this is so important. And today I wanted to actually talk about the like the tips. There's actually four. Um, and this is honestly what I learned in my own personal development. And it just resonated so much that I want to share it. Um, and it's the, the, the feelings of feelings, okay? And I, I read it actually applying it to money, but I want you to apply it to whatever you are lacking, you know, whether it's confidence, whether it is doubt, whether it is you know, um, believing in yourself, no matter what it is, you know, apply these four tips of feeling the feelings to it, to, to whatever you, that you're lacking. Okay. And the one thing that you want before anything else is you, you want faith. You want to have faith, not only just in yourself, but faith in something greater, you know, and the fact that you're, you're, that you can do this and that you, you can manifest, like, give me a second, I'm looking at my notes. Okay, the fact that like you can, the, the having the faith in the fact that you can manifest your goals, that's something that you really want for yourself, okay? Now, there are actually four tips in feeling the feelings, okay? So I'm gonna try to get to all of them, but if not, my main, my main goal for today is to share the two, share at least two. So if you want the other two, maybe Shannon and I can discuss me coming back in for the series of the other two. Um, now, before I share anything, I want you to drop a nine, okay? Drop a nine in the comments if visualizing is a struggle for you sometimes. And then drop a three if it isn't. If it's like, if you're like, girl, I have no problem visualizing, it is my jam. Nine, Kimberly, nine, nine. Okay, so there's a lot of nines. And first and foremost, this is a safe space. So there is no judgment if you struggle with certain things. You know, this is where we can connect. This is where we can really encourage one another, right? You know? if especially if it is something that you you struggle with okay now thank you for that now this this is the first tip this is manifesting through visualization okay and the reason why i asked if you struggle with visualizing is because this could be for you you know like i mean when i first started you know this journey and even now every now and then i struggle with visualizing you know so um, before you go instantly into a visualization state, one thing that I honestly recommend is you get into a, med a meditation state, okay? So you want to like relax, you want to close your eyes, you want to focus on your breathing, you know, something similar that we do when it comes to, when it comes to meditating. And then since we are working from our phones, because it's what our, it's what our business is all about, you know? One of the exercises that I learned, especially when you're visualizing, okay, is you want to hold your phone. Visualize that you're actually looking at your phone, okay? And then you want to hold it. You want to feel it in your hand. What does it feel like? Imagine visualizing like you've already had what you're, what you're manifesting. So, for example, let's just say you are wanting to hit a certain rank in this company, whether it's 4K, whether you want to re-rank, whether you want to hit 12K, whatever goal that you have for yourself, imagine that when you're looking at your phone, it is coming through. So imagine seeing all of those um, notifications that you have new customers. Imagine, you know, that you've gotten 
you know, every Tuesday it's payday and you're ringing in more money for yourself, more money for your family, more money for the things that you want to do, whether it's paying off debt, whether whatever it is. Imagine when you're looking at your phone, you are visualizing, seeing the notifications going off because you've got multiple customers coming in. What does that feel like? You know, what, when you look at your phone, you know, um, you know, how does it, how does it make you feel? See it, look at it, feel it, embody the emotions and, you know, scroll through your phone and feel it again. Now, I don't know if any of you were doing that exercise, but even if you didn't, what comes up for you? What are some emotions um, that you feel when that reality is created for you? So drop in the chat, um, what, kind of, what kind of emotions come up for you when you, if you were to hold onto your phone and you were to feel and you were to see all of the notifications, like, oh my goodness, Sky's got a, a new, a, a new uh, refer to a new client. You know, there's another new client. There's another new client all in one day. What does that feel like? You know, what is the emotion? <laughs> amazing and scary. Yes, amazing and scary. But what else does that feel? How else does that make you? Um, yeah, how else does it make you feel? Because that is why we're manifesting through vis visualization. You know, it's no different than if you're visualizing your goals and you have that moment of just like seeing it come through, you know, if you're sleeping and you have those vivid dreams, and then you wake up and you're like, oh my goodness, this happened. I saw this. This is what came through for me. You know, grateful, excited. Yes. You know, abundant. Yes, it's scary, but appreciated. You're feeling her, the universe, God, peanut butter, whatever your higher belief is. You're feeling that you're confident. It's, it's relieving for you because you're Dreams are coming through. Your dreams are happening. Sorry, I'm having my morning shake. <laughs> so that's something that we should do on a regular basis. And if it's not on a regular basis, try doing it weekly. Visualize, manifest your dreams through visualization. Even if it's not holding your phone, maybe doing it while you're meditating. But the phone is such a perfect example because A, we're always on our phone and we're always checking our emails, right? Well, not always, but not like, you know, you know, every hour, but normally we are getting ourselves into a routine of checking our, our emails, of checking our DMs, our checking our um, engagement, you know, the way that we engage with our, our network, our people. So imagine, you know, people are reaching out to you and saying, oh my goodness, Elaine, like I really saw your post recently. Can, can you tell me about this? What's this E60 challenge? What is, you know, what's that DFT? What's that patch that you're wearing? You get more inspired and people, you know, that's where the visualization comes through because you're manifesting, just getting all these DMs coming through. And that's where, you know, Oh, the the energy the feelings come and the power and the just the oh, the light the life let me know if that makes any sense drop a drop a two if that makes any sense please because now i'm going to go on to the next tip which i'm um, honestly this is probably one of my favorite um my favorite ways to manifest and that i want you it's called manifest through speaking okay so I want you to start thinking of what you would be thinking if you had what you wanted, okay? So let's just say, you know, we already know that month end is just around the corner. So I want you to imagine that you've hit your rank, you've re-ranked, you've hit a new goal, you've gotten in that April mania bonus, okay? And, you know, I want it to begin, uh, you want to let it begin with a positive thought. Okay. And then it's going to lead through a nut, like, um, a never, like a story that's continuing filled with amazingness. Okay. So it's going to sound like this, like OMFG, did it happen? Yes, it actually happened. You know, it worked. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how it worked, but I'm so happy it did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, the money's here, the customer's here, the people's here, my team is growing, you know, oh, my confidence is beaming. And you're gonna just start flowing and talking with just high vibes. 
that is where the speaking comes through. I'm going to, I'm going to try and I'm going to get new customers on Friday on my birthday. Yes, Erica. Yes, yes, yes. Happy birthday. Relieved and excited. This is beautiful. That's how you talk to yourself. That's how you manifest through speaking, you know, and you keep saying that you say it all the time. That's why like the inner work is so important. The personal development mirror work. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of mirror work. I do it because it is so important to look at yourself and speak to yourself with confidence, to tell yourself you have it. That's how you get, that's how you push the needle forward. That's how you show more love and compassion to yourself. That's how you take steps in literally, you know, eliminating, eliminating less of that doubt in yourself and more of the belief in your potential and the things that you have going for you. But I know a lot of times it can be so uncomfortable because people, when, you know, when I first say mirror work, people are like, what? Where do you come up with this stuff, Shalana? I'm like, it's it's for real. Mirror work is so for real because that's how you can practice speaking to yourself with love, with kindness, with joy. And if it sounds too weird, if manifesting through speaking like verbiage is too much, then write sticky notes on your mirror every morning and then write out different words that are going to really lift your vibe up, that are really going to help you just speak with like authenticity of the things that you've got going for yourself. But it starts with believing in yourself and you have to do that and, and, and look at yourself in the mirror. Cause the first person that you're going to got, you got to look at when you wake up every morning is yourself, love on yourself, speak to yourself with kindness. That's why affirmations is so, so important. So as we are heading into the last few days of this month, talk to yourself with love, talk to yourself with kindness. You know, even if, if you, if it's hard to look at yourself in the mirror right away, Walk around your house and talking to yourself. How many times have you heard your grandmother say, you know, a penny for your thoughts, you know? So talk to yourself that you got lots of pennies, you know? And speak to yourself with confidence, positive thoughts. Because the more you do that, I'm telling you, you're going to start doing it every day when you least expect it. You're going to be walking in your kitchen. You're going to be cooking. Be like, oh my God, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I got all these goals. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to crush it. This is, this is, this is amazing. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how, because, but here's the thing. We're not supposed to worry about the how. Worry about your why. Get focused. You know, you've already asked the universe, God, peanut butter shoes, again, whatever your belief is, what you want. You've already asked. Now you got to believe, okay? And you believe by taking those actionable steps. You believe that you can have it. You believe that you're going to receive it. So you got to take those actionable steps for it to happen. A lot of people think, well, it didn't work for me. Or like, well, did you do anything to get it? Oh, no, I just believed. Okay, believing is great. But you also have to take those actionable steps to manifest it into your life. You know, a lot. it's no different than, oh, I just want the lottery ticket. I believe I'm going to win. Okay, well, you bought the ticket. Did you did you do the things? You know, sometimes it's like, even if it's $2, you won. Some people are like, oh, I didn't win. But you didn't ask the universe, I want to win a million dollars. Did you take the actionable steps to win the million dollars? Or did you just buy the ticket? Okay, here's $5. And then just, you know, wait until, you know, the Sunday for it to come through. I don't even know if that makes sense, but in my brain, it always does. So like, Try this for the next couple of days and, and continue it on and see how that feels for you. You know, not everybody's going to um, want to feel the feelings and manifest through speaking, but you can manifest it through visualization. And that's what I love about these, these, these tips. Now I do have some time. So we're going to go to the other, to the other two. If you want the other two, drop a four. I'll, I'll, I'll let the other, I'll share the other two because I, I love these two as well. Okay, Erica and Shannon say four. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so the other tip of feeling the feelings, okay? I'm gonna ask you another question because I want this to be interactive. Now, um, how many here journal? Drop, a th drop an eight. Let me know. Do you do you journal? And be honest. There's no there's no there's no judgment again. If you if you don't journal as much, that is okay. Drop an 8.5. <laughs> Drop an 8.5 if you want to get better at journaling. Okay. And 
This is, um, thank you so much. Holding the space for all of the honest eights and the honest 8.5s. This is awesome. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't know how much I have all this energy and it's four o'clock my time. But you know what? You know, this is why we thrive because we want the energy. Um, okay, so just to let you know, there's so many ways that you can um, because obviously, as you know, this is the next step. This is the next, the next tip, the manifesting through journaling. Okay. And honestly, there's so many ways that you can manifest your desires through your journal, through journaling. Okay. Um, and you can move this energy through this exercise. Okay. And you do this through your routines and your rituals. Okay. Because there are so many ways that you can journal and I'm going to share some of these ways. And one of them is the gratitude list. Okay. So writing out five to 10 things that you're grateful for and feeling into every one of them when you do it. And I mean, if you've never read the magic, I strongly recommend you read the magic, especially if there are any new, uh, new promoters here. Welcome to the team. Hi, hello. We are all a bunch of um, crazy, happy people that are still honestly working through our beliefs and growing each and every day. And personal development here is so, so important. Mindset is key. So if you've never read The Magic, strongly recommend you read The Magic because it is a game changer. It was probably the first book that really opened my eyes to gratitude and how important it is to feel into, yeah, and you need to watch The Secret, it's on Netflix. I watch it at least once a month or every other month because it literally is a high vibe, energetic, you know, I don't know, documentation. I don't even know if that's the right word. Um, but gratitude honestly really helps you just remind yourself of what you're grateful for. And that is a way you can journal. The next one is your desire list, okay? Now, a desire list is actually something that I've been doing ever since I've been reading about this. And it's just writing things that you desire, okay? What do you desire? And be honest to yourself. That's where you tap into your goals. You tap into your big dreams. What do you desire? I desire, you know, being debt free. I desire, and speak it into a positive way, okay? Because a lot of times when we say debt, we think it's negative. That's another topic, but we'll get that. We'll not, we're not going to talk about that right now. But I desire, you know, to build my team. I desire to hit a certain rank. I desire to, you know, quit my nine to five. I desire to travel more. I desire to be, spend more time with my kids. Whatever your desires are, write it every day. And your desires are always going to change, but feel into that as well. Okay. There's, that's another way that you can manifest through your journaling. Now, this is another way that you can manifest is shifting your limiting beliefs. Okay. Because we all have these beliefs and this is honestly a great exercise, especially if you do struggle with certain beliefs that you have not yet released. Okay. And you need to embody more bigger beliefs, stronger beliefs. Okay. So you write down the beliefs, whatever is coming up for you, whatever that struggle is like, you know, you wish you had, you know, I'm my limiting belief right now could be X, Y, and Z. So for example, if you're struggling, you know, engaging, if you're struggling doing more reels, if you're struggling showing up more on social media and showing your beautiful face in your stories, write that down, write it down, be honest with yourself. Cause if you can't be honest with yourself, that's where the belief is. And it's hard to navigate and move through it. If you can't write that down, write it down. And that's okay. Write it down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it. You're going to write a bigger belief. You're going to write a stronger belief. You're going to write a bolder belief. That's literally going to flip it for you. And if you have to write it down every day, then you need to write it down every day so you can move through it. So you can tell yourself that, that what that old belief is, is a lie and that you can move through it and that you've got this. So if you're like, if, for example, if your belief is like, you know what, I, I, I'm, I'm scared of showing up because people are going to judge me. That is a lie. And you know that because people are not going to judge you because a lot of times the people that are, and the people that are going to judge you, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, but the people that are going to judge you, the people that are doing less than you, because the people that are her, the people that are doing the same thing as you or more, they are going to root for you. They're going to show you mad love and mad support. So you know that it's a limiting belief. And the way to work through that is writing it out and finding a bolder belief. You know what? 
I can show up because this is this is me growing and moving through my fears. Whatever belief that makes sense for you, write it down. Now, the other way that you can manifest through your journaling is your written tangents. Now, it's very similar to speaking, okay, through your speaking and you talking to yourself. But if you struggle or if you're not comfortable yet or confident yet in speaking out all of your verbiage and that you've got this and believing in that, then write it down. Write it down in your journal, okay? And it goes like this because I actually did this exercise and it, it, it might sound weird to you, but it doesn't matter. This is you writing out your tangent. You know, it's no different than you writing out in your journal of like, you know, of everything that's coming up for you, how your day went, the people that annoyed you, writing it out so you can release it. You bless and you release. And I wrote it out. And I said like this, it says, I'm going to be 40, I'm going to be a 40K leader. I'm going to be, you know, um, where is it? I'm going to be booming in my business and I'll be going down to part-time in my nine to five. I'm going to have reach, new reach outs, new customers and promoters, and my team is going to get bigger. I am building another stream of income that pays more than my nine to five. I'm investing in myself in different ways. I am creating more impact and I'm becoming a motivational speaker in the way that feels right for me. So write out whatever comes up for you. And the best way to do it is if you want set a timer for like, five minutes and put your pen to your paper and just write, just write it out. Don't stop everything positive and how you're going to flow. Just let it flow, write it out. Okay. And you do that by getting into the energetic state of you knowing what you want. And the more you do that, this is where, um, what was it? It was taught to me where it's like, um, I guess it's kind of like collapsing time. You know, the more you do that, the more you um, write out what your what your those written tangents. You're honestly um, getting into a future your a future you, and you're collapsing time. Okay. Now the last tip I'm just gonna share, and this is probably one of my this is not this is like my ultimate favorite because I do this all the time and I love it, and it's manifesting through moving. Okay. So how? Drop a nine if you move your body. Doesn't matter how, whether it is working out, whether it's through dancing, whether it is through hiking, whatever that looks like. The movement looks different for us all, okay? And honestly, it's an energy, it's a vibe. Ladies are dropping off nine. This is awesome. And honestly, it's how you tune into your endorphins and you move through your self-awareness and you start seeing things differently. I see things differently. I love to dance. Okay. Movement for me is through dancing because it's, it literally allows me to embrace my emotions. Sometimes I cry when I'm dancing, depending on the song. Sometimes I laugh, depending on the song. Sometimes I'm just really loving the vibe and I'm loving life and I'm just happy and just really trusting in the universe to guide me in whatever way that looks like. And honestly, moving does that for me. And as you see, sometimes I do it on social media because I don't care what I look like. You know what? That's me being authentic to myself. And if people be like, you look like a fruit loop, I'm like, so, and, and your point doesn't matter. I am creating a vibe to show people that it's okay to look like a Fruit Loop. It's okay to feel the emotions and to dance and to share. That is also a part of journaling, believe it or not, because movement is, is honestly a part of, of journaling because you're getting your emotions out. You are documenting whether it is on paper or not on paper, whether it's on video or whatnot, you're documenting just what is coming up for you, okay? And movement is so good, especially if you find yourself that you're in a funk. Move, get up, dance your body, have a meditation, do a yoga session. It's literally going to flow that energy through your body so you can get back into a grounding state. Legit, I don't know. It, it, it is something for me that I cannot, I have to do at least once a day um, or at least, sorry, once a week. And if I'm not, 
then something feels weird and I need to get up and dance. I have music on in my house at least every every day and it's just a vibe. So if you find that you're in a funk and if you find that um, writing, if you find that speaking is too hard, get up and move your body. And movement doesn't have to be like a, a 30 minute hit, uh, you know, going to the gym and, and, and getting in a workout. I'm sorry, I'm not a gym person. I don't want to hear men growl. And I don't want to see women pitter patter on the Stairmaster. I really can't like that's wasting my time. I want to get in and get a burn and leave. So move your body. If it, if it means going out for a walk, go for a walk, grab your dog. If, if you have a dog, if you don't grab your cat, grab your man, grab your kid, go for a walk, you know? And if it's, if it's raining or if it's snowing, you know, have a dance party with your kids. Kids love to dance. Even if you don't have rhythm, it doesn't matter. It's not for you to have rhythm. It's for you to release the emotion. It's for you to release any of the funk. It's for you to embody new vibes, new energy, new just ways to create more confidence in yourself. And, you know, with every, at the end of every movement, you know, session, um, speak with, speak with love to yourself, you know, have uh, compassion on yourself, you know, and tell yourself that you can do it. And if you can, and that you can do it and that anything is possible. I don't know if that made any sense today, but in my brain, it always does. Um, Shannon, I, I take the floor to you. I hope this resonated with all of you beautiful ladies. Um, if it didn't, please reach out. If you want more ways to, you know, manifest and feel the feelings, I am an open book. Ask me anything. Um, does anybody have any questions? And if not, if, Shannon, I'm if you sorry. have any questions, go ahead and unmute and ask away. If not, I mean, we're just going to end it. It was amazing. Thank you. Great. I guess we don't have any questions. We'll definitely tune in Friday and remember, let everybody know we have an amazing Monday series coming in the month of May when we have Chastity Marie taking every single Monday. Other than that, go out and crush the day. Thank you so much, Shalana. You are welcome. Thank you for having me. And remember this as we end, as we end this um, call. I always say this to my team and I, or I always say this anytime is um, you are beautiful, you are kind, you are safe, you are enough, know your worth, add some tax. Good things are coming. You just have to believe in yourself, trust in yourself and know that the universe, God, peanut butter, whatever you believe in is always supporting you. It's just, you've got to think positive and just let go of those negative Nina's that honestly are holding the space in your heart or in or in and around you love it love it bye everybody bye